back, you've probably never heard of DIPG. Only 20 Australian children are affected by it each year. One of them was eight-year-old Levi Wheeler, a special little boy who inspired the potentially life-saving project named in his honour. What's your name? Levi. Levi, that's me, mate. He was just a really gentle, um, gentle soul, soul, gentle spirit, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he was just a gorgeous little boy. These are the precious memories of a sweet boy who loved nothing more than football and family. <laughs> he'd do that all the time, where he'd just tell us all the time I, I that love he loved you, yeah. us and that we were, you know, the best parents in the world. And he had this, he was so generous in what he'd say to you, and, but we were just his world. At just eight years of age, little Levi Wheeler has left an amazing mark on the world. Bye bye, mm -hmm. I love you, Mummy. I love you too. So, 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 so much. Tonight, how Levi's legacy will save lives. It was too late for Levi, but for other children, hopefully. Hope. It... Yeah, there's hope. Yeah. Levi had just celebrated his seventh birthday when his parents, Catherine and Ben, received a devastating phone call. I still remember where I was working. Um, I try and avoid the street if I can. It was shock and mm. disbelief and panic. Their happy, active little boy had a rare paediatric brain tumour known as diffuse intrinsic pontine glioma. And it was inoperable. They said, you've got a year, a year left with Levi. And that was, he was in the waiting room at that stage when we had to go out and see him knowing that he was gonna die. And there's nothing, nothing you can do. Did you fall in a heap? How did you react to that news? Yeah, we did in, yeah, in the doctor's office we did. Yeah, we just couldn't, we just couldn't believe it. It was just something that was just so unbelievable and something you never think would happen to would your happen child. To you, even though... Time was against them. So Kath and Ben channeled everything into granting Levi's every wish. With the support of family and friends, he travelled the world, made new friends. Oh, and just amazing what things you can dream up and that happen through gorgeous people yeah. who, who make Beautiful it happen people. for you. Hello. Hi. How many days until Christmas? Two more sleeps? I love you. Just a few days after Christmas last year, Levi slipped away. Looking back, we, he, he knew he, he was He dying. knew? Yeah. Like he knew? Um, he was just trying to hold and on. And he got to Christmas and he opened his presents and then it's like that was when he kind of let his guard down a bit. But his fight for a cure wasn't over yet, thanks to a generous, anonymous donor. Yeah, close to two and a half million. Two and a half million dollars. Which is just, <laughs> yeah. it's amazing. Yeah. Amazing. We still can't believe it. Hi team. That huge donation has gone to the Children's Cancer Institute in Sydney, where a team of dedicated researchers will drive Levi's project in the search for a treatment for DIPG. Executive Director Professor Michelle Haber says it's the biggest family donation the Institute has ever received. This philanthropic contribution, we believe, is going to give us the capacity here at the Institute to begin to change the future for DIPG. We're going to be getting another three people. Associate Professor David Ziegler will lead the project, studying tumour samples and testing treatments. Each donation, each tumour sample we get from any child is extremely precious and valuable and allows us to, for the first time, understand what makes this tumour so aggressive and how to treat it. DIPG affects around 20 Australian children each year and currently the survival rate is zero. But the launch of Levi's project is a big step towards finding a better outcome. It's like climbing Mount Everest for the first time. This is giving us the boost, this is giving us the tools that we need to achieve it. Why did you make the decision to donate his tumour to research? That was just so important to us yeah. that it was, that was a no-brainer. Uh, yeah, that was a no-brainer. Yeah. That was just, yeah, that's what we're doing. This was his winter team. Levi's brother Archie and sister Olivia pour over their favourite photo album. So all of his them. friends yeah. that made this yeah. book for him. Yeah. Wow. How tall do you think it's going to grow? 
They've planted a tree for Levi, somewhere to reflect on the happy milestones of a brave little boy. You're my true love, Mummy, <laughs> and you're always in my heart. <laughs> and so is Danny. Oh, you're the most beautiful boy in the world. You are. I so love you I love so you. much. We're just so proud to be his parents and a life means something and his was a beautiful life and he was a beautiful kid so lucky to have had him. Bless him, what a beautiful boy. If you'd like to donate to Levi's Project to keep that important research going you will find the link on our website.